What up, Doe Connors? Today, we're going to be taking on the new burst mode for the Warrior of Fury Super Saiyan Goku. Normally, I do these videos so that you guys can reach the 6,000 point total. So in order to clear these missions, you not only have to hit 6,000, but you actually have to go one step further. You have to hit 6,100. Now, the reason why that's important is because you ultimately want to be doing this for the burst coin silvers, because if you pick up whatever limited supply they have in these missions, you can use them to buy in exchange for skill orbs and those are always very useful. And the categories for this one are going to be Android Cell Saga and Target Goku. So they will be helping in general, a bunch of bad guys, but also some good guys, depending on which characters you're trying to boost up. So we're gonna go for the 6,100 point total, but actually we're gonna go a little bit further than that. We're gonna go for the 6,200 point total, not listed among the missions here, but it is something that has been challenged by the producer of Dokkan himself, Omatsu. So Global Dokkan tweeted this out, Try to beat Omatsu's score of 6200 in the currently available burst mode. Now, for him, this is the team that he ran to beat this, which was a target Goku team. And this is essentially all you have to do. Just run this team, make a couple of modifications if you want, and you should be able to get a similar score, if not better. Of course, some of these units are rainbows. So maybe if yours are not, that might be a problem. But if you bring AGL, this is going to be a much, much easier thing to do. So that being said, I'm going to show you my run that I did to beat this event at 6390. So normally I would do this live, you know, for you guys, but I just didn't really feel like doing that for this one. I decided to just record this and uh, there's no audio except for a couple of moments where I almost die and I make some weird <laughs> sounds like that. So if you guys want to watch that and listen for it, feel free. This is my setup that I use. So if you guys want to copy it, go ahead. Target Goku. So how this works for those of you who don't know, Burst mode is basically a difficulty modifier. It'll turn any random event into an Avengers level threat, depending on how many difficulty sliders you tab on. So target Goku up at the top here, not int and physical, but AGL and physical. If you go int and physical, you deprive yourself of all type advantage in the final two rounds, the final round, and you are going to have a horrendous time. I honestly want to see somebody beat this with all of the same setup, but with int and physical. So if you are up for the challenge, by all means do it. Copy the rest of my setup, but only change this to up here. If you can do it, great. I don't, I have zero interest in trying. But if you want to, go ahead. 420 team cost. All of these are turned on, including the type or the, the type that I'm going to be focusing on, which is AGL. I also have that damage reduction turned on. So we're doing 50% the damage that we would normally do. So all of that is turned on. Damage reduction is maxed out. Starting from phase three, enemy's defense is raised by 100% with each passing turn up to 1,000 defense, 1,000%. Didn't turn on any of these. If you want to challenge yourself, feel free. In my opinion, it's not a challenge. It's just a torture fest, which I don't care for. Attack raised by 250. Defense raised by 300. HP was raised. Enemy's HP raised by 500. Enemy can reduce damage down to zero. Recovers 3% of the max HP as damage per type key sphere of the type effective against. So basically, when you pick up, if an AGL unit picks up blue orbs, you heal. If an AGL unit picks up green orbs, you take damage. That is something that I focus on as part of my strategy in this run. What you're going to see is I'm going to be loading up on a bunch of blue orbs. And then whenever I need to, I will tap into that blue supply to serve as my heal, which is actually a very effective strategy. So definitely pay attention to what I do. So you can try to emulate something similar. All allies, key minus three. Yes, I did that. I also did these items not allowed. Lock order of rotations. I can't do that. Maybe you can do that on a full AGL team. Some of the units, actually my squad is pretty busted. So I think actually, honestly, if I were to try that with my team, I could probably do this with enough RNG. But other than that, I feel like this is the most difficult setup you can do with relative ease in success but if you guys have anything better feel free to show me this is the team that i ran to beat the event so let me show you this is my squad so everybody in here allows me to run under 420 the mvp and the unsung hero has got to be this guy because this guy is a world tournament free to play unit not a lot of people even care this unit even exists but this unit is actually fantastic raises defense for one turn causes frame damage and gains the ability to dodge by 5% with each attack performed, not supers, just regular attacks. So you can develop a 50% dodge rate. That on top of a solid starting dodge will give you some relative consistency when it comes to dodging. And this guy didn't stick around 
for the most part but when it, whenever he showed up in slot three he dodged and he was good so i think it's because of him that i was able to clear this in terms of both team cost and also just consistency it took me two tries the first try i got 6290 the second try i got 6390 so what you're about to see is this successful 6390 run if you want to do this with int and physical be my guest if you want to do this with android cell saga be my guest this just in my opinion feels like the most effective way to do this with the maximum difficulty so with that said let's dive in and enjoy the show with minimal talking Goodbye.
Time to get serious.
Yeah.